The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. Dang, to be such a nobody, people still love talking about me. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. What's up? What's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And yes, I'm your host, AT2. What's up, everybody? Hashtag TTRD. If you didn't know what that stands for, it stands for Talk the Real Deal with AT2. Now, I did want to say something. If you want to get in contact with me or want to know when the next show is, please contact me at 510-600-6676. Again, 510-600-6676. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody for showing love. I appreciate that. And thank you for hitting that like button. It's very important. Uh, let me say what's up to everybody first before we start the show. I know the people that watch the replay, they hate this part. Y'all skip to the middle anyway. Shut up. Anyway, what's up, Vegas girl? What's up, Rosemary? What's up, Maria? Sadie? Uh, what's up, Jay? Um, who else we got up in here? What's up, Lindsay? What's up, Miss? Is it Indi Indus? Miss Indus? Am I saying it right? Let me know if I'm saying it right. You know I didn't finish college. What's up, Jaya? What's up, Anastasia? What's up, Elise? What's up, K-pop? Uh, what's up, Jay um, uh, Sawyer? Uh, what's up, Ruby Girl? Um, who else? Nikki? What's up, Nikki? Zylee up in the building. Thank you, Zylee, for catching a live show. Um, thank you, Young Mike. Um, who else we had up in here? Laugh Gags and Gossip, Southern Bell. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Brandis, thank you so much. Lori, um, thank you, Theta, uh, Miss B Moore, Stephanie. We got a whole bunch of people up in the building. Karina, Shell, 901 Don Diva. Okay, okay, okay. We got the heavy hitters today. All right. This is what I like to see. This is what I like seeing now. And make sure y'all hit that damn like button. I ain't gonna tell you no more. <laughs> What's up, Queen? Um so what I wanted to um, get into is first the mental health aspect, and then we'll get on to uh, what everybody's came to see. What's up, Miss Devereaux? What's up, Queen? Uh, oh, Miss Indies. Okay, Miss Indies. Okay, like independent. Okay, got you. What's up, Infamous? Um, basically, what I wanted to talk about was yesterday I had to, I actually took a break. Um, I ran away from home. Um, it felt good running away from home. Sometimes you just need to get away and get lost. Um, I got lost into the casino. Now, don't worry. I didn't like spend. I know some, uh, some people are going to be like, oh, yeah, you went ahead and spent all your cash apps and your super chats and stuff. I don't get paid until the 21st. Now, the cash apps, that's debatable. But the super chats and stuff, you don't get paid until the 21st. So shut the hell up. Um, what's up, Cheeky? Uh, what's up, brown skin lady? Um, but uh, we don't. Um, yeah. So it, first of all, whatever I do with the money is what I do with the money. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there so the haters can stop thinking like they can control what I do and what I say. Um, anyway, going um, going back to what I was saying, um, I had fun. I had over one hundred dollars in food comps because like where the casino I went to, it carries over um, your food comps and stuff like that. So I had over a hundred dollars. So of course, so I ordered a steak, right? And I took the steak home. However, 
it started spilling out. So I had to eat it while I was on the train. <laughs> and like my hands are like all greasy and everything like that. But I have these. Um, oh, I can't show you. But I have like these wipes, though. So I was a I was clean. You know, I was clean. I wasn't all like dirty or nothing like that. I wasn't like scratching my ass and eating my food. Come on now. You know, I do have common sense. Um, but uh, just yesterday is what I needed. Um, I got to see a friend who I hadn't seen. And she was actually going through a hard time, too, um, with some things. And we both needed to escape from reality. So I thought that was really um, it, it was good for me. It's what I needed, um, especially today. Um, you know, I told you guys that I go to the doctors today, so I don't know what the doctor is going to tell me if he tells me like I'm crazy or, you know, something going on with my health. I don't know. Um, but it's important that you guys go get checked out. No Revy, <laughs> no Revy, <laughs> <please. laughs> you all so damn petty. Uh, no, no raviolis, no raviolis. I do like raviolis though. Um, but going back to what I was saying, it's very important that you guys uh, go get, you know, frequent checkups and stuff like that. Make sure you're OK. Um, please go get tested. For, I'm not even talking about just STDs. I'm talking about get tested for every damn thing. Um, you know, check your blood, sh your, your sugars, your blood pressure. Um, check everything. Get everything checked, you know, to make sure that you're good because you just never know. You know what I mean? You just never know. Um, speaking of that, you know, it's a lot of times, what's up, uh, unapologetically curious? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything to you earlier. Um, it's very hard, um, when you are open on this platform and you let yourself go and everybody, um, has a right to their opinion, you know, no matter what it is, everybody has a right to their opinion. I want you guys to remember that everybody has a right to their opinion. Um, some people don't go like, oh, well, you know, he might be struggling with a few things and stuff like that. You know, let me just lay off of him for a minute. Not everybody is subject to that. You know what I mean? Not everybody is going to feel sorry for anyone. And, you know, I was just thinking that these people that were talking about me last night is 50, 60 and 70 years old. They're in their 50s, they're in their 60s, and they're in their 70s. So why are you trying to beat me down when you guys are the elders? You guys are supposed to uplift me. You guys are supposed to help me out. You are the people that I should look to for inspiration. People in their 50s, 60s, and 70s should not be tearing me down. <laughs> people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s should not be tearing me down. They should be uplifting me. They should be wanting the best for me. So it's very sad when you see your elders try to attack you, and especially these people that have been doing it for 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years, you know? They should be uplifting me. Uplift me. And like, you know, you can say like, oh, I'm way far ahead of him. Well, you should, you know, um, you're in your 50s, 60s and 70s. You should be ahead of me. And you've been doing this a lot longer than I have. So you should be ahead of me. So I don't understand this competition with um, saying that I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm this and that. It, it shouldn't matter at the end of the day. Uh, spend this on whatever the hell you want. Thank you. I love you, Zylee. Shout out to Zylee. Make sure you guys follow her. Um, as well. Zyla Gets Real. That's the channel name. I'll leave it up there for a minute. Thank you. Um, I feel that people um, want to say, you know, you're a smaller blogger and you're this and that. And you guys heard me talk about this before um, and say all this stuff, but yet they're talking about you. I'm only relevant if you talk about me. If you don't talk about me, nobody knows who I am and nobody cares. But when you talk about me, it it creates traction for my name. It, you know, puts me in the algorithm. So in a way, I want to say thank you. It did not affect my mental health, but I hope your mental health is okay. You know, I hope your mental health is okay. Um, for example, I'm okay being who I am. I show my face. I give you guys my real name. There's even a phone number where you can reach out to me at. Um, I respond to my DM messages. 
I am who I am and I can always be me and be happy being me. Now, do I have all my shit figured out? No, I don't. But I'm happy being me. Who are you? We don't know. Who are you? We don't know who you are. You know what I mean? So for people that don't know, uh, people who are ashamed of showing themselves and they try to talk about other people who are them and subscribers connect to people that are real and not fake robots, that's what people connect with. They connect with the real. So when you are not able to be yourself and you can talk about somebody's looks, what do you look like? You know, this is a real question. What do you look like? Because if you talk about somebody looks, I expect you to be a bad bitch. That's it. That's it. And if you a guy, I expect you to be ripped and everything, you know, but if you a woman, I expect you to be a bad bitch, you know? We don't know what you look like, but yet you compared me to looking like a rat. Okay, I'll take it. You know, I don't mind when people call me ugly and stuff like that. That is very high school. I don't mind it. You know what I mean? But I do remember the one time on your Instagram, which I didn't go to your Instagram, just everybody um, played it on YouTube, where you showed your hand. And your hand was actually darker than mine. Now, it could have been the sun rays hitting it. You could have got a little tan. But your hand was darker than mine. But the, the what you present to the people is a light-skinned woman. Because you know that picture that she uses? Doesn't it look like Maya, the singer? Y'all know Maya? Um, it looks like Maya, the singer. But the hand that we seen was a dark skin hand. So you're not even comfortable in your own black skin. And this is why it's important that I get back to doing the town halls because I believe colorism and stuff like that is very important. You know what I mean? Um, on a serious note. But what we seen was a dark skin hand but you're presenting yourself as a lighter hue woman because we don't know if you're a man or a woman. What you're presenting to us is a lighter complected person. We'll say that. So something is already going on in your mental where you can't be yourself and you can say like, oh, I'm trying to, um, you know, protect my identity. So I'm trying to throw people off. There's something deeper with that you know what i mean there's something deeper with that it's something very deep uh, very deep it's deep it goes far 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 down a hole i don't want to say that thing but it goes far down a hole there's something wrong with that and yeah you can say i'm trying to protect my identity and stuff like that but us but you being able to talk trash about people and talk trash about people's lifestyle and trash about people's looks and we don't know who you are? Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. We don't know who you are, but you can talk about everybody else's lifestyle and all this stuff and their looks. What gives you the right to talk about anybody's looks when we don't even know what you look like? Now, we've seen that dark skin hand, but you're portraying yourself as being light skin. It goes deep, people. It goes deep. It was a dark skin hand that we've seen, but they're portraying themselves as something else and they won't show their face and all this stuff. So it's very lame. It's very dumb. It's very stupid. So somebody like that, you can't give any attention to you know in seriousness you can't be angry at somebody like that because um they're deflecting they're deflecting when you can't be yourself and you're not comfortable being yourself it eats somebody like that up it eats them up because they cannot be themselves so they get to hide behind a screen and say all these vile disgusting things and think that um, it's okay. 
You know what I mean? They can say these vile, disgusting things because they're anonymous. You know, we don't know who they are. And it's not okay. It's it's not okay at all. It would be different if you were just report. You were a reporter, but you are somebody that goes around and slander people. And let me let me throw this out here. I thought YouTubers don't talk about YouTubers. You know that's a lot of these people's favorite lines. YouTubers shouldn't talk about YouTubers. But maybe you should talk about YouTubers and your views would be better. You know what I mean? Granted, I always say, you know, these people might get better views and stuff like that than me. But, you know, since they're so far above and they're elite bloggers, you know, as they like to use this word, elite bloggers. And since you're such an elite blogger, then what you doing messing with me? Or, or, since you're messing with me, does that make me elite? I'm just saying, if you're messing with me, that makes me elite, right? I'm an elite blogger, so I can say that now. We we neck and neck. We neck and neck. And, you know, and there's another thing. Um, this is kind of going off topic, but um, there's this thing about AT2 being a troll. Um, I might do trolling, but I'm not a troll. I'm a grown-ass man. I am who I say I am. You guys know a lot about me. When was the last time that I um, presented myself as something that I'm not? Can you guys tell me a time where I presented something that I'm not? I think I show my face. I think I use my real name. I think I opened up about mental health. I think I also told you guys about unemployment and all this stuff. You know, I, I told you guys a lot. Which, by the way, I want to shut down this rumor. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not on anybody's insurance. I'm on my own insurance. And I'm 32 years old. <laughs> also, um, this thing about paying taxes, um, the IRS will get you if you don't pay your taxes. Trust me. I know. Wink, wink. Um, the IRS will get you if you don't pay your taxes. So, Anything about any kind of, oh, you're scamming this, you're doing this, you're doing that. You have to think about it at the end of the day. I did not become monetized until this year. So all this talk about like, oh, you got to, you need to pay taxes on this money. Duh, duh, duh. I just became monetized this year. So any payment for this year will be paid next year. So at the end of the day, I don't know why you're talking about, you know, need to pay taxes and stuff like that when I just became monetized this year. Um, honestly, I know, I know, because I'm such an elite blogger. You guys think I've been doing this for years and years. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I've only been doing this for a year and three months now. Me being such an elite blogger, I know some people get confused by the time period and everything like that. You know, they think I've been doing this for years and years. But honestly, I've only been doing this for about... Um, um, a year and about four months, you know? And the reason why I'm sharing this stuff is because um, when these people say, you know, you don't have any job, you're fat, you're ugly, you're this and that, you're talking about the people that watch you. You're talking about your followers because I highly suspect that your followers are maybe ugly. They maybe don't have a job. They may be fat. They may not be the best looking people in the world. But you're talking about people that follow you. And so when you project that out to the world, when you talk about people who are, you know, this or that or beneath you and stuff like that, you realize you are talking to a crowd of people that might be watching you. They don't see it like that, huh? They don't see they don't see it like that. They don't they they, they don't hear me right now. But you want to get, you know, you want to be higher than a Cuda Brown on live just saying everything. And the sad part is, is that that conversation was supposed to be about something so serious. Um, domestic violence is such a serious topic, but 
you wanted to talk about everybody else and their issues, but then try to bring it back to that serious subject. I felt it was selfish. I felt that it was disgusting. And I feel that karma is a bitch. That's what I feel about it. That's what I feel about it. Um, and if you guys want to know my thoughts on that case, you know, definitely I can go ahead and do another bit. I prefer to call myself fluffy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but if you guys want to know what I think about that case, we can definitely have a discussion about it and not have a discussion about six other people. I felt that was very uh, selfish, you know? Why have a discussion so important and so it's su such a broad um, discussion? And, you know, there's so many people that might have been triggered by that discussion. Um, and you want to talk about other bloggers or other YouTubers and stuff like that. I'm talking about, um, uh, what's his name? Jeffrey, uh, I know it's Jeffrey Pascal. I think that's what his name is. Um, if somebody can look it up, I know there, there was like a, um, a hearing this morning as well too. Um, but, uh, Jeffrey, um, Pascal, um, he, uh, he, look it up, look it up. I don't want to say too much because I don't want them to flag my video. Um, but we're going to play a quick commercial real quick. Actually, it's about two minutes, but we're going to play commercial and we'll be right back, y'all. Monica, this is for you, baby. Miss Bojangles herself, allegedly. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. When I first laid eyes on you, I nearly fell in love. Voice just like an angel sent from above. These haters try to find you, but I just want to get inside you. I don't know who you are, but I know who I am. Monique or Yolanda, Kenya or Latanya, Carmen San Diego, just tell me where to go. Clap, clap, clap it up for me, Monica. I want to see you back, back, back it up for me, Monica. I know you're just an avatar, but baby, you fine as hell. I know you're just an avatar, but baby, girl, you wear real well. Monica, yeah, yeah, you are the finest, yeah. Baby, girl, they press to find you. Infamous on the feature, let's eat her, this cartoon creature. Why didn't you just apologize and not perpetrate more Plez lies? Hiding behind that cartoon disguise with a fake voice box, you're digitized. Uh, manipulated the panel. You dropped the bag and you screwed your channel. Got more victims than COVID-19. These YouTube streets looking like a crime scene. Plez Marcella, schoolboy and bishop, princess, so debonair. You made them all quit. Repent, Miss Narcissist. I'm shaking right now. You are dismissed. Lost subscribers, you lost your views. Like Wiley's eyes, I was so confused. Then you had that fake interview with the chick who gave head to Jamal in the church pew. Sold your soul for a click and a view. Your page is through, and nosy ho, she gon' find you. Queen of second rate clickbait. And who the hell would be friends with that meth mouth John Yates? Allegedly spilling stale tea, and no, you can't strike me or AT. When you send a fake cease and desist, get my name right, chick. It's infamous. You're just an avatar. But baby, you fine as heck. Yeah, I know you're just an avatar. But baby, girl, you wear real well, Monica. Mm, you are the finest, yeah. Baby, girl, they press to find ya, yeah. You might be a Grand Theft Auto character, yeah. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. All right, y'all, we are back. Um, it's something that I wanted to address, and I feel like it's the perfect time to address it because it kind of goes uh, with this. Is um, I'm seeing a lot of my favorite people um, fight each other, and I'm confused why people are fighting each other. I'm confused why you're fighting over people that you don't know. I'm going to repeat that again. 
you guys are fighting over people you don't know. Um, it seemed like at one time, like everybody um, in this uh, sector, I guess, um, was getting along and we all kind of just was like cohesive, maybe not um, all, you know, liked each other, but at least respected each other um, enough. And I've been seeing a lot of people are making videos about each other and they're just attacking each other and going at it. And I'm just kind of thinking like, yo, you don't have to attack each other. And especially for mother, you don't know. Why are you guys attacking people over mother? You don't know. You know what I mean? And, and I and I understand the battle. I understand it. It's some people that believe th this group of people and then there's other people questioning like, yo, why do you believe these group of people? These people are lying to you and you guys are both fighting each other. Let me tell you this. Sometimes you can't lead a horse to drink water. You can take the you can take the horse to the pond and they might not drink the water. Sometimes you just got to let them go and let them be. You know, um, also, um, stop hopping on everybody's fucking channel. Damn it, I said the cuss word. <laughs> stop hopping on everybody's channel. I'm tired of seeing the same people on everybody's goddamn channel. I'm tired of seeing it. You already talked about this on your channel. I mean, on this person's channel. Why are you talking about it on another channel and then another channel? Stop homie hopping to different channels. Stay on your channel. Stay on your channel. Stop hopping around. I'm gonna have to go get my blood pressure checked too when I go to the doctor. Anyway. <laughs> Stop hopping around the different channels. Just stay on one damn channel. You know, um, I realized, you know, someone told me they were like, AT2, you kind of spreading yourself too thin. And I was all like, you know what? I am spreading myself too thin. Sometimes, you know, I get, I'll be all like, yo, this show a little boring. Let me hop on the stream yard and make it fun. You know, that's what I'll be thinking to God. I'll be like, this show a little boring. Let me hop on the stream yard, have a little fun. Um, sometimes it can go a little haywire and I'm all like, oh, ooh. Uh, you know, uh, kind of like when I was on Freckle stream and it went a little twisted and I was like, Ooh, <laughs> drop me down. <laughs> drop me. Like I wanted to drop down, but I didn't know how to do it. Um, well, no, I didn't know how to do it, but I didn't know if I dropped down, they would be like, why did he drop down all of a sudden? You know? So I was like, okay, let me kind of stay there and just kind of like take it. But then, you know, I was doing the dramatics and stuff like that. And I believe that, you know, even with me doing the dramatics in the background, I still got that show popping. You know, I was the highlight of it. Not taken away from anybody else, but I was the highlight. Um, I guess. no. Oh, y'all wanted some taco meat. Y'all didn't send no money. That's why. Oh, I kind of shaved my taco meat. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't have no more. I have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of taco meat. It's like, <laughs> hey, it leftover, leftover taco meat. That's what I got. Um because it makes it weird in spaces everybody visits. Yes, 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 yes. That's why it does make it um, awkward. It, it makes it very awkward when people are fighting and um, you're all in the same circle and stuff like that. And it makes the subscribers be like, who do I choose? Who can I run to? To share this empty space with laughter. Who can I run to when I need love? You know, it makes you so confused, like, damn, if this person don't rock with this person, this person don't rock, then who who can I run to? You can always run to my channel, but who can I run to if everybody is fighting each other? You know what I mean? It makes it very confusing. It's very confusing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, infamous? See, y'all get what I'm saying, right? It makes it very confusing. Like, damn, like, I thought th these people were cool. And, you know, some people go like, I only followed this person because you follow this person. What's up, Save Robbie? Um, I only follow this person because you follow this person. So when these people are fighting each other, everybody's like confused. Like, wait, what's going on? Like, I thought you were cool. I thought everything was right. And then sometimes that makes people want to. Um, there's been a few people that messaged me and were all like, hey, I kind of took a break from YouTube just because I couldn't handle everything going on. And there's a lot. It is a lot. You know, it is a lot. It, um, when. 
Uh, because at first I was like, well, if you're just a subscriber, you should be fine. But no, sometimes if somebody sees you in somebody's chat and then you go in somebody else's chat, they'll try to call you out and be like, hey, I seen this person in this chat and they said da 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 da. And so you can't um, have that. Um, no, that's the wrong word that I'm trying to use. But you can't you can't freely go to different people's channel because you feel like you got to rock with one side, you know. You feel like you can't rock with a certain side. Hey, Teresa. Uh, yeah, most of the time, whether it's a small thing or big thing. Oh, I missed your comment. I'm sorry. That's why I make it apparent that no matter if I am feuding with somebody or I don't like anybody, you can still watch them. I don't want anyone to lose money. So you can still watch them. You know, I never want y'all to think like, Oh, AT2 told me not to watch this person. No, 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 no. I don't want to affect him. Now, you know, they don't say the same thing about me. They definitely try to ruin my life. But um, uh, for me personally, even if I don't like somebody, I still want you guys to follow them. I want you to freely be able to come up with your own conclusion and believe whatever you want to. You know, all I can do is tell you the truth. I'm going to repeat that for the people in the back. All I can do is tell you the truth. Uh, thank you, Liz, for showing up. I appreciate that. But um, all I can do is tell you, okay, let me not say tell you the truth because that's still kind of, um, all I can do is tell you my truth. And then you believe what you want to believe. But all I can do is tell you my truth. It um separate, you know, it, uh, It, it um because you know everybody has a story you, you know it's my side your side and then the truth you know but um it's very important that you guys draw your own conclusions and you know uh, like i always tell you guys look at this as entertainment i know some people hate when i say that like oh this is entertainment this is entertainment you know this is real life to me it's not entertainment and da 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 but no, at the end of the day, it's entertainment. It's it's watching TV. You're watching a streaming service. It's like if you subscribe to Netflix and you turned on the AT2 show, um, I'm here entertaining you, you know? That's why people are here. Make sure y'all hit that like button, but that's why people are here. Oh, oh, and also I'm 20 away from hitting my goal of 7,000. If I hit 7,000, we will do another slumber party uh, slash rent party. <laughs> But um, I'm 20 away from hitting my goal of 7,000. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed and all that good stuff. And um, yes, I did drop the link if anybody uh, wanted to come on and say anything or add anything to this discussion. Um, but um, going back to my message, I want all the YouTubers, because I kind of feel like I'm the, uh, the godfather of StreamYard. I don't want to say the godfather of YouTube. Uh, the godfather of StreamYard because nobody does stream StreamYard like AT2. But um, I'm the godfather of StreamYard and I feel like I have a responsibility to tell people like, hey, come together. Stop the BS. You know, if there's anything or anyone out there that's really full of BS, you guys will see it and you guys know it. But stop fighting each other. Like, it's not worth it. A simple conversation can solve a lot of this shit. My psychiatrist skipped my session yesterday. I was like, what? wait, they skipped it? Wait, they skipped it? How are they going to skip your session? Uh, agree, content creators still should vocalize that people can go where they want. Yes, exactly. Some people transform into sheep. Mm-hmm. You're right about that. Everyone watches the same ish. That's people do. Yeah, you're right about that, Kingsley. You're right. Um, there is an individual on my stream yard, and but it's two of him. So this could definitely be. Oh, now there's one of him. <laughs> just, and here, and this kind of goes to my thing, like. If you really don't like somebody, why are you keep tagging them in posts, keep trying to antagonize them? Why do you keep on doing stuff like this? 
And I kind of thought about it. I was going to do, you know, a 30 second countdown and see if you guys wanted to uh, let this person on the stream. But I don't feel like there's any reason to let this person on the stream. Um, but ooh, 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 ooh. someone sent me a video. Right. And they're like, hey, AT2, I think this person was throwing. I know they're throwing shots at me, but I think they were throwing shots at you, too. And so I watched the person video. Right. And, you know, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, and I'm kind of like, just, all right. And it could have been taken as they're throwing shots at me. But then, like, I was like, why would I respond when nobody knows who the f you are? <laughs> uh, Liz, you're right about one of the people. Um, no, I think um, Sincere. I think Sincere um, rocks with um, the other guy. So that's why he never comes back over here. But um, why would I respond when, you know, it's not going to get me anything? Like, I'm not going to gain anything from it. Um, I'm not going to get any kind of clout. You know, they say I clout chase and all that stuff. Um, it's not going to give me no views. Um, more than likely, nobody's going to care. Um, we never even had a conversation. So I don't see why um, I would. I would respond back to you. <laughs> like usually, even with um, yeah, you guys guessed it right. It's re it's real on the other line. He um, I just checked my message. He said, "Let me on, brother." Um, but um, what you call it? Usually, the people that I have some kind of interaction with. Uh, or the people I feud with, quote unquote, I hate saying feuding because at the end of the day, in real life, these people don't matter. But the people that I'm, quote unquote, feuding with, um, I had some kind of interaction with them. Um, even with real, I had some kind of interaction with them. So why would I go after somebody I never had an interaction with? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think because I'm the prince of the B sector. Uh, people want to just see how like, oh, I know AT2 love. He loves going back and forth with people. I know, but you know, I'm a changed man. I'm a changed man. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. You know, I, I don't, I don't do the same stuff that I used to do. Oh, oh, let me read this comment and then I'm gonna go ahead and add on the homie. I was so mad when she got on somebody else's channel. I was like, wait, I thought you don't get on panels and shit like that. And I was so mad at her that she got on somebody else's channel. But let me read this. Uh, dude, I keep getting tagged in someone's posts on YouTube and they uh, haven't figured out I am not going over there. <laughs> right. right, we don't watch it. Why do you keep adding us when we don't watch it? Stop adding me and you know I'm not gonna go over there, you know? Uh, Real can stay over there, the woman who called him. Right, exactly. Exactly. Real is, and that's the thing. Real is over there on a team with the same woman that called him the N word. And remember, I came out, I was the, actually the only YouTuber, oh, besides Siwa, that came out and defended him because I was like, if she calls you that, then I know she can call me that. I was one of the few that actually came out and now he done turned his back and everything on me. See, you can't help, you can't help stupid. But here's Brown Skin Lady. What's up, Brown Skin Lady? Hey, hey, look, you know I love you because I am right now um, in the car pickup line. <laughs> about to get my kids. And I said, let me just come on and say hey. What you wanted to add to the conversation? I think that we are too grown to be just ganging up, um, believing everything that somebody says. Like, have your own mind. Come up with your own conclusion. You know, don't believe everything you hear. And don't these people it. are following, I mean, like, um, following sheep, like, sheep, um, you know? Sheep, you know? Right, right. And it's sad. <clears throat> because, I mean, even though I do have my thoughts about what's going on, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to go where I want to go, okay? And I'm going to say what I want to say. And that's it. I'm too wrong. I am too right. wrong. Right. I'm not picking sides and ganging up and whatnot. Get <laughs> no, I'm not doing all that. So it's it's ridiculous and it's really sad, especially when I see, you know, <clears throat> you know, a lot of black women going back and forth. Like I, I hate that. I, I don't right. like it at all. Right. Um and so just knowing that people are actually creating 
a false narrative. It's, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Right. And they're, and they're following after something after that's not something even that's real. Not even you know real. what I mean? You like, you don't even know you these people, know but you're fighting over them. Right. Right. And would these people do the same thing for you? No. They would not. I, I, I wonder that, too. Like, would they be windmilling for you? No, they would. No. No. They would let your no. ass get jumped no. with six no. other people. <laughs> right. Right. They, uh, yeah, they act like they don't know you, so I'm just saying, like, just, just use, use common sense. You, don't let you somebody brain, tell you what to think. Don't let somebody tell you what to think. Like, just, I mean, you gotta bring most of us, use it. Use right. It. Right. So, uh, yeah, my thing is, that, is that, you know who, you know who, who rocks, who rocks with you. If a, if a person has had, has had plenty of conversation plenty of with you, with supported, you, supported you, those are the kind of those people, those that, you kind of people that you want to rock, rock with. But right. if right. there's if another group of people, group of people that might send that you, send you a, dollar a dollar or two just, or two just to, so you could be on their side, their side. obviously right. they're playing obviously against they're, they're, they're playing with you. Right, right. I mean, you can't thank you, Leslie, for the super sticker. You can't trust people like that because if they'll be that underhanded, you know, then when the next person comes along, they might do, you know, slip on you. So just just be careful. I just wish that people could just stay in their lane and just do things the right way. Stop being so sneaky. Like, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? Most of these people are not making money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is, what's the point? That is a whole lot of work. You know, that's a whole lot, a whole lot of for nothing. Right. Oh, um, brown skin lady. They're saying it's an echo. I'm gonna go ahead and drop you down. I know you're uh, trying to pick up the kids and everything. Yep. Yep. I just wanted to come through. We love you, ATU, and I enjoy you. I love you too. Thank you. 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 Thank but um, hopefully you guys were able to get what she was saying. I could hear it, but it probably was bad on your end. I'm sorry about that. Um, Miss Devereaux is on the line. Um, let me see. Miss uh, Devereaux, are you there? I am here. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Um, uh, see, you gave me that stock answer. I was concerned about you. I hadn't heard from you for a while. And you said, I love it that you said that you were okay with not being okay. That was courageous of you. And I really appreciate it. I'm a regular person and who listens to you just because you're entertaining and I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not, you know, not getting anything out of it, but you do entertain the masses. So cater, cater to us just a little bit. Be, I know you got beefs and people are beefing on you and, you know, trying to drag you down, but don't go with it because um, a lot of regular people rock with you. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. And, you know, it, it is a thing where, like, you should, uh, like you said, you should cater to the masses and, you know, not worry about it. Um, I, I agree with that. Uh, but there's times where it's all like, OK. It's going to get to you. Yeah. It's all like, OK, you want the smoke. I'm going to let you have it. And I'm going to do it in a way where you are going to have nothing to say, because now these people will have nothing to say because, I already put everything on the play and I put what it is. We we know that the real issue is that because of my association with other people, um, they're all like, oh, we know if we keep digging on this guy, you know, he'll finally respond and he'll do a video and we'll be so happy because then maybe the other people will do a video. And it's all like, no, it, it, it's not a game. It's not. Um, you know, my, my main mes message is like, yo, Mental health is real. Um, you know, I opened up, which, thank you. I appreciate that you... Um, and you didn't have to. And right, I mean, and that's I didn't courageous. have to. Right. You didn't have to at all. And there might be, like, other people... In, oh, they're saying not, they love your voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> there might you. be other people going through the same thing, and they might not know how to deal with this. Um, True. And you got to bring it. You bring it to right. the forefront. And that's great. Don't put any energy into what the craziness is, the shouting and the entertainment shouting, because it's shouting. And there really right. is spittle on the side of his mouth when he's shouting. So I really don't want to hear it. I enjoy the taco meat. I, uh, sometimes <laughs> I like you even bringing the smoke. And that's all. 
Oh, wait a minute. I had to rub it. I had to rub I'm it for to you. I'm about to hang up on you now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, you do you. And I enjoy the entertainment that you bring. That's what I wanted to come up and say. I really Thank appreciate you. you giving me an opportunity to say it just from a regular person's perspective. Yeah. And I appreciate you coming on so much. Uh, they, they say you need a channel. They want nope. you to get the channel. Oh, hell no. I'm not <laughs> even going to do that. <laughs> right after all this? <laughs> No, I can't be in the beef sector. I can't. No, I just enjoy the entertainment. While I'm working, it makes my day go by fast. Or if I'm up late at night, I hear you. Do a slumber party. I'm going to try and pe get some folks I know to yes, subscribe yes. because I'm you are entertaining. My goal is 7, you are entertaining. And I really want you to, you know, to get there. And uh, hey, Mina, just love your, your mom, Mina. So she's uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So you take what, care. What okay? is Mina? I haven't seen Mina. I didn't see her today, but she's always there. Yeah, I love Mina, but thank you, Miss Evero, for coming on. I appreciate you. Keep doing you, man, because you are spectacular in your blackness and your greatness. You are spectacular, you. and you have a lot to offer with your interviews. You got a lot of talent, man, and I'm excited to see it. Thank you. Can't stop, won't stop, right? There you go. Take care. <laughs> love you. <laughs> love you too. Bye bye. She is so dope. I've talked to her before. Uh, excuse me, as I just burp. Um, but she is dope as hell. Um, wow. See, I just love being able to speak with people like that. And they're so. And this is why I created the membership. I know there's still controversy over why I did the membership. There's a lot of people that want to come on and talk, but they're afraid to. And so with the membership, it creates that safe space where they feel like they can talk. And we will be doing one um, tomorrow as well, um, a membership only live. But, you know, it creates that um, safe space because a lot of times, you know, there are people be all like, yo, I want to um, uh, thank you, Queen, for saying that. Yes, definitely. She did. Um, there's a lot of people who are like, I want to comment on this, but if I comment, people are going to hate me. They're going to try to dox me. They're going to try to do all this crazy stuff. And it shouldn't be that way. Like you should be able to have people call in, um, you have a discussion and then they move on. Like it shouldn't be people trying to hate you or trying to do crazy shit to you. Like why, for what, you know? Um, uh, I went ahead and dropped the link for anybody else wanting to come on. Uh, I'm still not sure if I'm going to let that other person on because I see no reason. You know what? Let me go ahead and do the damn 30 second countdown. And since they always hate me, put a one in the chat if you think I should let real on. Put a two in the chat. Hail to the naw. Go ahead and do a 30 second countdown. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, um, two one. Um, at this point, oh, oh, thank you. Shout out to my new member. Is it so 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 so? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, remember the membership link is in the description. You guys can go ahead and click on it. Um, in the description of the video. Um, yeah, everybody said two. Um, it, it's kind of like one of those things, like, yo, in the beginning, it, it, and it's a lot of stuff with this beef, this beef stuff, right? In the beginning, it is fun. It is something entertaining. It is something new. But after a while, you kind of be like, all right, it's boring. You know, I feel that I helped this man. Um, I helped this man career. You have to remember back in December when we had the falling out or whatever, right? Um, he created video after video after video after video. You know, I'll respond back, respond, respond. Um, and, you know, we had really good um, back and forth. You know, at the time, it was not entertaining to me. Like, I really, I really did not like him. At the time, it was not entertaining for me. But, um, you know, for other people, it might have been entertaining. Like, oh, they keep going back and forth. I helped this man build his channel in a way that I didn't even think about it. Because before me, he wasn't at a thousand or anything like that. You know what I mean? 
So I helped him build his channel. Now, whatever he did after he was feuding with me, that's all on him. I'll give him credit for that. But you have to remember, he built his channel off of fighting with me. And like he would go to different channels slandering me. Uh, he went to Cups and Conversations slandering me. He went to um, Sherelle World slandering me. And he did so much stuff to terrorize me. And I forgave him, you know. Oh, thank you, Miss Reaper, for becoming a member. Can't wait for the live show tomorrow uh, for members. Um, this man did so much to try to destroy me. And I still came out on top, you know. And so after everything has happened, I forgave him. And I was like, you know what? Let's bygones be bygones. We went at each other. Let's let it go. And then this man is so mental, he doesn't even realize the problem. You hopped on a live stream that had nothing to do with you. And I've never spoken about this really like publicly to make it make sense, but you hopped on a live stream that had nothing to do with you. I was talking to Kuda Brown and you hopped on a live stream that had nothing to do with you screaming and yelling, talking about oh, what the F is going on and you did all that screaming and yelling and that live had nothing to do with you. Whenever you are fighting with the Katie Joy community, I don't hop in and be all like, oh, blah, 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 what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. No. I stay away from it because I don't want none of those Katie Joy people to hop up on my timeline. Because when you watch somebody or you like a video or something like that, those people will hop on your timeline. I don't want none of those people to hop on my timeline. They're disgusting human beings. I don't want none of them to hop on my timeline. So I don't watch stuff like that. You know what I mean? So when you are, um, so I don't hop in between that and stuff like that, you know? And so when you, are jumping in a battle and you admit it multiple times that you don't know what's going on. Why are you there? Like, in your right mind, you cannot possibly have thought you could be a great mediator. In your right mind, you're all like, man, I can really mediate this conversation. Let me go ahead and hop on in here and show my ass. You will be the last mother I ever asked to mediate for me. You will be the last mother I ever asked to mediate shit for me. Not a goddamn thing. You are out your... I don't even want to say that, but you are out your mind. If you think I would ever call you for help. Because you obviously didn't come to help. You came over there because you were like, oh, I can get clicks and views. I can work with these people and I can. It was a business transaction. When you hopped on that live stream, it was a business transaction. It got your name out there. It got you some subscribers from Cooter Brown. And, you know, it, you you work the system again, just like you work the system to beef with me to get monetized. You work the system again to gain subscribers. You work the system and it's a thing. And that's why I tell you guys all the time, all this shit going on is entertainment. And thank you, Southern Bell. I appreciate that just because you're awesome. Thank you, Queen. Um, but again, you hop your ass on that live stream for you. You did not hop on that live stream for me. You hopped on that live stream for you. And I wish you would just be honest about it and be like, yes, I did it for me and I did it for my platform. If you say stuff like that, I would be all like, you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If you just admit it, that you hopped your ass up on there for you. Admit that you did that. And I will be cool with it. Just admit that you hopped on there for you. And I will be fine with it. But I can never rock with a group of people that I supported. I can never rock with a group of people that I supported. And they turn their back on me for someone 
they don't even know. Someone that uses creators, and I don't even need to say black creators. I think they just use creators in general. They just happen to be black. But they use creators to go after people they don't like. And you fell into that pond. Because CBJ is being, Kuda Brown, he's being controlled by the top puppeteer. And then he's being controlled. And then he's controlling these people down here. And it's like a group of people all trying to go after creators and content creators and try to destroy them. For what? For what? See, and, and here's my thing. I don't even know Jarita, but what if I were like, hey, I know you don't like um, Kuda Brown. Let me go ahead and link up with you. I've never said that in my right mind. I've never said like, hey, let me link up with your enemies and we can go after people. I've never done that. If I had a friendship with somebody you happen not to like, that's what it was originally before you guys had a falling out. But I'm never linking up with people just because I don't like them. You know? I never linked up. Thank you, Drea, for putting it out there. Thank you. Um, I never link up with people just because I don't like somebody else and try to become friends with these. Why would I do that? It doesn't do anything for me. If anything, it gives you a platform to be able to say whatever you want to say. What's up, customer service manager? Um, it gives you a platform to be able to say anything that you want to say. Thank you, Tenneke. I appreciate that. No, they're not. They're not going to be off track. Um, but um, yeah, it, it it doesn't benefit me at all. It doesn't. Um, I don't ever see me working with. If you were a shitty person beforehand, even if you had, it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. A YouTubers that just love to link up with each other because they have a common interest and common person they don't like. But um. I'm not going to link up with somebody who is already shitty just because they don't like somebody else that I don't like. If you were a horrible person beforehand, you probably were always going to be that horrible person. I don't think you're going to change because you have a common enemy that I hate. If you were shitty before, you're going to be shitty afterwards. No change in it. No change. No, nothing can help you. You will always be shitty. You will always need an enema to clean your shitty butthole. <laughs> That's what it is, y'all. The enema, right? The thing that you squeeze. Uh, never mind. That might have been too much for people. But um, anyway, y'all, um, my message to everybody, stop fighting over cartoon characters. Stop fighting over avatars. Stop fighting over robots. Stop fighting over animals. Stop fighting over people who are sickly and need to go to the doctor with me. Um, stop fighting over alcoholics. Stop fighting over people that are, don't, don't do anything for you. Stop fighting over these people. What are you fighting over these people for? These people don't give a damn about you. You are a money train for them. You are a transaction. You are a transaction to these people. They don't give a damn about you. They are using you for what they can use you for. And y'all don't even see that and realize that. Your eyes are closed. Your eyes are like this. It's closed. You need to open your hands up and look what's going on. You know? And that's what a lot of uh, brown skin lady, that's a lot of what she was trying to say to everybody. People got their eyes closed and like they're not even seeing what's going on. Uh, thank you, Jessica. I appreciate that. They're not even seeing what's going on. Their eyes are so close. They're not even seeing like, yo, this is what's really happening out here. They got people so far gone and so far. Like, are they drugging you? Are y'all being drugged? Like, I believe like they are feeding you or they are giving you the pipe and you smoking it. <laughs> you smoking the pipe right now. Because some of y'all <laughs> act so damn confused out there. Y'all act so confused out there. And I'm all like, yo, let me just say this. 
get in my DM and I can explain it to you further if you need clarification. But hopefully you guys got the point. Um, I'm happy that I was able to get on here this morning, been a little bit with y'all. Um, I love y'all. Make sure you guys stay safe. Thank you to everybody who has became a member. Thank you for the super stickers, the cash apps, the oh, y'all making it rain. Um, thank y'all for just every just everything and thank y'all for the love and support and yes i do take this um serious all the feedback you know it's not a thing where i'm gonna respond every day to these people just sometimes you wake up with violence you know and i appreciated everybody else who um mess messaged me yesterday and was like hey these people are talking about you. I know right now you're taking care of yourself. You're worried about your mental health and stuff like that. I understand what's going on, but, um, you know, I just wanted to let you know, these people are saying that. And I appreciate you guys because like I said, a you, a YouTuber, what, what's a YouTuber in the real world? More than likely these people don't even live near me because you know, I live in the ghetto more than likely these people don't even live near me. So in the real world, these people don't matter to me. But um, I appreciate everybody who just checked up on me yesterday and made sure I was okay. And just people that really rocked and supported me. And all I have to say to that is that I love y'all. And it's it's not, um, I, you know, I'm not taking my power with a grain of salt. I understand that when I speak, a lot of you guys hear me and I appreciate you guys for listening. Um, but I'm going to get that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody sent some money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, thank you, Dre Eleven Life. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Um, I take everything that you guys say seriously, and I take all the recommendations. And we're just gonna move forward and move beyond this. Um, at the and I'm still keeping the commercial. I don't care what y'all say. I'm still keeping the commercial. It's funny as hell. Everybody loves the Monica song, and it is what it or the Avatar song. Everybody loves it. We're keeping the song. But I'm going to play it again for y'all, and then we out of here. Deuces, y'all. Monica, this is for you, baby. Miss Bojangles herself, allegedly. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. When I first laid eyes on you, I nearly fell in love. Voice just like an angel sent from above. These haters try to find you, but I just want to get inside you. I don't know who you are, but I know who I am. Monique or Yolanda, Kenya or Latanya, Carmen San Diego, just tell me where to go. Clap, clap, clap it up for me, Monica. I want to see you back, back, back it up for me, Monica. I know you're just an avatar, but baby, you fine as hell. I know you're just an avatar, but baby, girl, you wear it real well. Monica, yeah, yeah, you are the finest, yeah. Baby, girl, they press to find ya. Infamous on the feature, this ether, this cartoon creature. Why didn't you just apologize and not perpetrate more Plez lies? Hiding behind that cartoon disguise with a fake voice box, you're digitized. Uh, manipulated the panel. You dropped the bag and you screwed your channel. Got more victims than COVID-19. There's YouTube streets looking like a crime scene. Plez Marcella, schoolboy and bishop, princess, so debonair. You made them all quit. Repent, Miss Narcissist. I'm shaking right now. You are dismissed lost subscribers you lost your views like wiley's eyes i was so confused then you had that fake interview with the chick who gave head to jamal in the church pew sold your soul for a click and a view your page is through and nosy hoe she gonna find you queen of second rate clickbait and who the hell would be friends with that meth mouth john yates allegedly spilling stale tea and know you can't strike me or at when you send a fake cease and desist get my name right chick it's infamous you're just an avatar but baby, you fine as heck. Yeah, I know you're just an avatar. But baby girl, you wear real well, Monica. Mmm, you are the finest, yeah. Baby girl, they press to find ya, yeah. You might be a Grand Theft Auto character, yeah. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat. Take that and rewind it back. Go ahead and put those A's in the chat.
Shit.